Sean here guys and today we're talking about the Vi Fly Short Saver. This is a leapfrog product that catapults us past the traditional functionality of a smoke stopper. This takes it one further, adds some additional convenience features, all for a really low $11 price point. Um, now you can always have the ability to kind of make your own smoke stopper at home using an automotive light bulb. But for those of us that don't want to do that, it's not really convenient for me to just throw that in a drawer. Um, because I'm always throwing things in drawers, losing them or piling stuff on top of it. And I don't really want a little bit of glass stuck in there. But as you're building, whether it's the first build, the second build, the hundredth build, um, you always have the potential to make a mistake. Cross some wires some there. Bridge some solder somewhere. So if you have one of those shorts, if you have one of those overcurrent situations, or if you have accidentally reversed polarity on your XT60 or XT30 connector somewhere along the way, this will protect you from all of those scenarios. You can see on here that is using genuine AMAS connectors, which if you've been in RC hobby for a while, you know that those are kind of the gold standard. It also has some switchable configuration to be able to have a one amp trip, a two amp trip, um, according to the instructions, one app is what we're going to use most of all for our hobby needs. It does have some really cool instructions on here on how to um, bridge some of the pads on there if you want to have additional functionality. There is some customization there. You can change your short circuit time from three seconds to five seconds or seven seconds, and you can change your over current time from 10 seconds to 15 or 20 seconds. So there is some customization there available. And then it tells you exactly how to use it. You just plug in your battery um, to the short saver first on the input side to your quad side. And if you have a short, you will see this thing go on. For most of your RC applications, you're going to want to use the one amp option according to these guys. And when you connect it, if the green LED remains on once you've connected to your quad, then your build is in good shape. And if the green LED is off and the red light is on instead, it means you have a short circuit or overcurrent. The default settings are three milliseconds for a short and 10 milliseconds for overcurrent, but you can configure that to different time periods to meet your needs. I'm pretty much just gonna leave it on the default, to be honest, guys. This is just a little bit of extra insurance. A lot of people always ask, um, can you purchase insurance for your quads if you crash them? But why not purchase a little bit of extra insurance for your quads and your components as you build or repair them? A lot of times we're doing builds, we're doing repairs um, late at night, I sort of instituted a self-imposed rule for myself, never build or fix after midnight and never do it around water. So pretty much like a gremlin, because you don't want those electrical gremlins to creep in, right? This is a bit of extra insurance for that so that your sleepy time builds or just sometimes we just make a mistake. And those mistakes can be costly. If you burn something up, this will flash green if everything is correct and it will light up bright red, letting you know that you have either a short or an overcurrent. So we can try XT60 and XT30. First up, we are going to do this DJI build that I have wired up and I really don't want to smoke it. I'm just waiting for the frame to arrive. So I have the receiver, the Vista, everything all ready to go along with my capacitor. So let's, I'm really hoping that I did my soldering job good here. So plug this in, the light should turn green. And here we can see the light stays green to indicate that there are no shorts. Good to go. Now we're going to run a negative test. I have this, um, ESC that is bad and I have bridged these two ESC pads here. So hopefully this won't catch on fire. Yeah. 
So when we plug this in, you can see there is a short is lighting up red. If I plugged this in without this, who knows what it might do, it might catch on fire. Uh, so this is keeping this bad ESC that has a motor pad bridge right there from sparking up. That would let you know you have a mistake. You could go over all your war wiring, you could find that mistake and fix it. This can do two, three, four, five, six S, no problem. Um, I know some of those other small systems may not be able to go all the way to six S. And so here's what I didn't want to happen. I didn't want to just throw this in a drawer somewhere, right? And you need to have it readily available on your bench. So I went into Fusion 360 and designed this little desktop holder that you can sit on the edge of your table. You can sit it on a rail of your table leg or your chair leg or wherever it is you build. I left a flat part so you can attach this somewhere with double-sided tape and I also left some zip tie holes. And so what it does there is just fit right in there like that and it's always accessible on my bench. I'm always gonna keep it there, pull it out. I suggest you do the same. This is a little bit of extra insurance. This will be available free on Thingiverse for you to download, print yourself out. I went ahead and added the Wi-Fi logo. Been having a great time learning and modeling up a few things in three, Fusion 360. So I wanted to take this opportunity to make sure that this doesn't become lost in the bottom of the drawer if you do buy one. If you buy one, guys, actually use it on your builds. Keep your components safe. Save yourself some money by spending just 11 bucks to get one of these right now. Great job on this Vifly. This is always welcome, something to keep us safe. They really are like an insurance company for your quad between the buzzers, the beacons, and now this. They're really making sure that all of us for a very pretty and expensive price can keep flying our stuff the way we want to. Thanks guys.